Hey, go check out Mike Patey's YouTube channel, and while you're at it, check out his brother Mark, who I think goes by M. Patey on YouTube. Go check him out. Uh, if you haven't ever seen them before, uh, you're welcome, and you won't regret it if you're into airplanes at all, or even not into airplanes. If you're just into stuff, go check them out. So, uh, that was my introduction. I didn't need an introduction for this video because I wanted to get right to the meat and potatoes of it. Um, now, for um, a little background about what I'm doing in the video, I just decided to jump in the Warthog and see if I could remember how to start it up. It's been, oh, at least a year since I've fired the uh, DCS A10C Warthog up. So it is the plane that I'm most familiar with, and it's the one that I started learning uh, DCS in. And, uh, and, and it's always going to have a... Uh, a special place in my heart <laughs> so anyway I, that's what's going on in the video but I'm really talking about Mike Patey now um, I'm not a pilot I'm not a real pilot at all and I'm not a very good uh, virtual pilot either I don't necessarily follow the rules of what you're supposed to do I don't necessarily get into the immersion the way a lot of people like to do um, uh, sometimes I wish I could I just don't really have the time to do it so um, so anyway, I'm, I'm not a real pilot. I wanted to be. Uh, I went through ground school when I was in college, but I just couldn't scrape together the funds um, at the time or, or make it a priority to go take flight lessons. So um, looking back, I could have done it. Uh, I just didn't think I could. So I didn't. Then I had kids and the job and all that good stuff, excuses basically. But but anyway, I'm, I'm not a real pilot. Other priorities came up. And uh, I never followed that. Um, but but more importantly, I spent a lot of my life just not feeling like I could do much of anything. Um, I don't have a, an amazing skill set. I like to do stuff. I like to make things. But I don't have... Uh, I'm not really good at anything. And so anyway, I stumbled on Mike Patey's channel um, maybe a year ago. And... Um, and he does some really, really cool stuff. I can't say enough cool things about Mike Patey. Seems like a ge I don't know him. I've never met him. I would love to meet him sometime. Or Mark. Um, they seem like genuinely nice people that have really good attitudes um, that have done a lot in their lives. They've, they've never let anything... It doesn't seem like they've ever let anything get in their way. And, um, and, and they've just done some cool stuff. And, and specifically watching Mike build airplanes, that's what most of... The videos that I've watched on his channel are about is uh, him either building or flying airplanes and some of the stuff he he does it's very very clear that he has an insane amount of skill that he's built up over the years by doing stuff um, by by not making excuses and not uh, not letting things get in his way and, uh, and and it's really fun to see someone that successful that cares that much about general aviation uh, or anything really, anything worthwhile. It doesn't have to be general aviation. That's just what it is in this case. Um, that that then you know has such a good attitude and wants to help people so much, uh, and wants to help in this case general aviation so much. Um, those two guys, and it's not just them, but those two guys do a ton of stuff for general aviation. Um, and, and honestly, the video, the videos of of his that I've watched, of both of theirs that I've watched. Um, are really they're fun they're good entertainment but more importantly than that they are uh, very encouraging they you know you you see Mike doing stuff and I can't do the stuff that he does I don't I don't know how to lay up carbon fiber um, you know I can't weld the way he can weld I, I can weld it just looks gross and it's not going to be as strong of a weld as what he's putting together uh, i've seen some some videos of him welding and he's really really good it's clear that he's done that before um, it's clear that he's laid up carbon fiber before but but watching those videos i'm like i start feeling like hey i, I could lay up carbon fiber <laughs> you know and uh and that's kind of fun you know it's kind of encouraging to watch videos like that even knowing that this guy's got a long uh, a long life of doing stuff and he's got skill that he's built by doing it over years and he's done it in different industries and he's using all these different um, sets of knowledge that he has to to chase his current 
uh, his current hobby that he's showing us and, and using those technologies and those skill sets all together to make something really, really cool. Um, that's fun. And, um, anyway, um, it's not just, it's not just Mike and Mark that, you know, encourage me, but, um, but they've, you know, watching those videos, I, I watch them and then I go, I gotta go make something, you know? So, uh, I have started, um, building more stuff and just doing more stuff, um, trying to be a little more proactive about, uh, even about YouTube videos, even about making more YouTube videos and doing a little bit more on the channel. I'm uh, just trying to be more creative, keep my mind working and things like that. I've been trying to do that more. Um, and part of it is due to me getting older and, and knowing that I need to do stuff like that before it's too late. And part of it is seeing guys like Mike and Mark, um, do their thing. And, uh, and, and, you know, anyway, I just wanted to, to explain all of that because I can't say enough good things about those guys. And I really think they don't need my help. They do not need my help building their channel because they're huge and rightly so. Um, they deserve it because they work so hard at that kind of stuff and they're so good at what they do that they deserve it. But, uh, I definitely wanted to just in case, okay, because you know, my, some of my audience is DCS flyers and a lot of DCS flyers are real pilots. Um, you know, so, so you guys may already know about Mike and Mark Patey, but if you're just a virtual pilot, you may not know. Uh, and, and don't, f don't feel like you can't go watch real airplane videos or, or a guy build an airplane. Uh, and talk about real aviation just because you're a virtual pilot, not a real pilot. If you're interested in planes or building stuff, go check them out. Um, and again, they don't need my help with it, but um, but I wanted to share that because I think that I think they're both really uh, they just they deserve it. They deserve as many subscribers as they can get, and as as you know, if they can get a bunch of ad money off of YouTube, again, I don't think they need it, but they deserve it. So. Um, so I, th I think that's that. I guess um, the last thing I'll say, and, and I'm going to show this video, I'm, I'm trying to show the startup procedure, and you'll see where I'm, I mess up, uh, areas where I mess up and things like that, but that's okay. Um, but I'm, I'm going to try to put in some, some external cuts, and, and then I'm going to fly the plane around, um, just being goofy, I guess. But um, So that's what you're going to see in the rest of the video. Uh, but anyway, the, I was going to say that's, that's not the cut I put in, <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, the, the two major things that, um, that I've watched on Mike's channel is him, uh, is some videos on Draco, which was a very <laughs> modified Wilga that was just awesome. Probably one of the if not the coolest, one of the coolest airplanes ever built, um, or ever, I, I guess it was built and then it was rebuilt the way it was intended to be. Um, and, uh, and unfortunately Draco crashed, but from, from Mike's videos, that doesn't, that's not the end of Draco. We're going to see more of Draco later. And, and I'm really excited about that because it was such a cool airplane in it. And it was, was one thing that just did a lot for general aviation, just having that plane and having people see that plane at air shows and see that plane at, at, um, the V stall events or stole of stole competitions. I can't remember exactly what they call them, but, um, the short takeoff and landing competitions and stuff like that. So, uh, it, it drew a lot of interest into flight and into airplanes. So that was really cool. But, um, and then he's, he's also making a, a really, really tricked out, uh, carbon cub. Um, but it's not like it, he's, he's like took a couple of, well, more than a couple planes parts and kind of put them together and, uh, he's making just a really cool, uh, bush plane. And, and I, I'm going to be honest, every time I watch a video on scrappy, which is this bush plane, um, I'm amazed at the the new thing I'm learning that that I don't have the skill to do but I'm learning that it's possible and and just watching him put stuff together and think about the way things go and 
come up with new ways to do things on airplanes and uh, to, to make this plane special. And then he's, you know, he's getting the most out of this airplane. He's getting the most out of the space. He's getting the most out of the weight. Uh, and, and he's, you know, he's using different parts of the airplane for multiple purposes. So, um, for instance, there's, you know, and, and I don't want to go into the detail, but just one of the things that he did that's actually pretty complex is to distribute weight. And I guess sounds like maybe even more so to, to distribute airflow, um, he moved his oil cooler towards the back of the airplane, and that way he's not robbing air from the engine um, to go across this oil cooler, and it puts some of the weight at the back. Uh, well, he needed intakes for the oil cooler, so he puts them on the side. He molds them out of carbon fiber, but he makes them strong enough that they can be used for handles to move the tail of the plane around when you're on the ground. Uh, and, and the thought process there was really fascinating to me because he, he basically said, you know, they're here, somebody's going to grab them. So if they're going to grab them, I might as well make handles out of them. And that's fascinating to me because um, I have worked in manufacturing before. And from a uh, customer service and technical support side of things, that's where I worked in manufacturing. And very often... Our designers, who were pretty good designers, our designers and engineers were good. I, I, you know, I really enjoyed working with them. But every once in a while, they'd come up with an idea, and and I or someone else on on our, the team that I was working on would say, you know, wait, but you know the customers are going to do this, and they would say, yeah, but they're not supposed to, <laughs> and we would say, but they're gonna, and it's gonna break. So it's really refreshing to see that thought process of somebody's going to grab this. I know they're going to grab it. I'm going to grab it. So I'm going to make it strong enough so that it can be grabbed. And uh, and that's fascinating. That's just one of the many things that he's done where he's kind of dual purposed a part on the plane to save weight, to get more utility out of the airplane um, or, or whatever, you know, something along those lines. And, and it's fascinating to watch. Uh, it really is. So... Anyway, I've rambled on enough about him. Uh, I think it's I think it's easy to tell that I actually really really enjoy this channel and I'm getting a lot out of it. Uh, even though I'm not a real pilot, I am getting a lot out of his channel and I I plan on watching more of Mark's videos. Uh, I've watched a few, um, but I didn't really even know Mark had a channel, mostly because I hadn't looked uh, until yesterday. So um, so I've watched some of his and. Uh, and again, they're both good guys, uh, or at least appear to be excellent people. You know, <laughs> I've never met them, but um, but that's that. So uh, go check those guys out. I don't think you will be disappointed. I think that you'll actually uh, really love the the time that you get to spend watching their videos. Um, and and I would say, you know, I, I spend probably too much time watching YouTube. So I, I would say, you know, don't spend too much time, <laughs> watch some videos and then go do something, uh, handy, go do something, uh, productive or creative or something like that. Make your own videos, uh, go build something, spend time with your family, that kind of stuff. But, but definitely check them out. And with that, I'm going to let the rest of the video play out, which is, um, it's going to transition to a little bit more external views as I fly around. I'm going to do a little bit of uh, stunt flying, not necessarily like I normally do because I'm in a almost fully loaded Warthog. I've got fuel, full fuel and I did remove some of the weapons so that I wasn't over 100% um, takeoff weight, which I normally take off with about 105% takeoff weight because uh, I like the weapons. So um, anyway, that's what the end of the video is going to be. Uh, I thank you guys for watching, uh, and I thank you guys in advance for going and checking out Mike and Mark Patey. Take care.
have to pull up. 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 Pull up, pull up. Pull up, pull up.